right, before I talk about this 4, I need to give a huge heads up to anybody who has this game or has played this game or is going to be continuing to play this game. For some weird reason, in the SDL version of this, this mod, Shavs 2000, once it gives up your numbers after you complete this floor, for some reason, an 8 flashes by BJ's head and the game crashes. I do not know if it's like a, a glitch in the SDL code or something, but I do not know what the issue is. So I highly recommend saving before pressing that exit switch at the end of floor 48. Otherwise, you'd be screwed up to go back to where you had previously saved from. But if you do press the space bar like in like right away, like or or like you know whatever key you press to you know continue moving forward, then you will still go to floor 49. But I don't know why it does it. I, it didn't do it when I practiced floor 49. Well, it did the first time, but afterwards it did. So hopefully we don't have this issue and we're able to still complete this mod. But I had to actually take a screenshot of um, the statistics and put the 12th hour soundtrack underneath it. This is actually a screenshot you're seeing right now, not the actual level. But anyway, so just a heads up if you ever play this game. About floor 48, I think for the most part it is a decent but not the best map to have right before a, um, a boss battle, well a co-finale um, of boss battles for this game. Um, it it's definitely is tough with you know the small ambush at the beginning, but it's not too difficult because the guards usually stay on the left side of those two doors. So no one really goes, maybe like one guard here and there will go into, you know, out the door from the right side. And then the, the ones left staggering is the, the dog in the one room and then the other five mutants inside um, that small room with the health. Other than that, I mean, that, that ambush isn't too difficult. Um, the maze areas, of course, with, you know, the mutants, like, hidden there, you gotta be careful to know where they're at, because they can easily snipe you off, especially if a couple times there's mutants on both ends of that hallway, and, you know, they could go walk down the other hallway, and you may not just forget about them. What also is tough also is I keep giving Gary Raglan credit, though, he used a dog very well in this game, because the, there's a bunch of dogs surrounding enemies, but you gotta be careful with a map like this, so you don't have a ton of ammo to, to work with to, you know, salvage. And, um, you know, when you're trying to, you know, save ammo by, you know, taking out all those dogs, but they're surrounded by a bunch of different enemies that, you know, can, like, get to you quicker before the dogs do. So you gotta be careful um, with that as well. But other than that, again, it's it's still a tough level, but it I don't think it's quite the best level for a, a floor before a boss battle. But with that being said, guys, we have made it. We are going to go on to floor 49, the first of two boss battles, and we will complete this game, Shabs 2000. Who are we going to battle first? Find out next. I am the Club of the Man 1993. I'll catch you then.